friends, we will continue with the discussion on material strength and the characteristics variations of steel as a material under elevated temperatures in lecture 49 titled material strength 3 under module 3 fire resistant. We already said that various thermal properties are required to understand steel at different temperature. For example, we should look at the specific heat, the density and thermal conductivity. We also said that the strain level used in estimating the characteristics should be consistent with the design approach. Let us try to look at the fire load characteristics to understand steel characteristics at elevated temperature. Let us try to plot the variation of temperature in degree Celsius versus time in minutes for different fire curves. Let us say the natural fire curve, okay, let us try to mark these points. 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200, let us say 30, 60, 90, 120, 180, 210, 240. So, the natural fire curve has a behavior similar to what I am marking here. So, this is actually natural fire curve which emits heat of 976 mega joules per square meter. Let us see the how the hydrocarbon curves vary. This depicts the hydrocarbon fire curve and of course, the standard fire curve takes a deviation at 600 
and goes non linear. This is the standard fire curve. So, the time temperature curve should be obtained from the thermal loading estimates on the building. One can see from here the temperature time history is dependent on the following factors. One, it depends upon the applied heat load. Two, it also depends on the shape and size of the member including cross sectional dimensions. It also depends on the presence of passive fire protection techniques. So, this curve shows a comparison of temperature time under high fire load and minimal ventilation. By the idea of this, let us try to now understand properties of steel at elevated temperatures The Fourier equation for heat transfer is given by this expression as you see in equation 1 where theta is space dependent temperature A is temperature dependent thermal diffusivity thermal diffusivity is given by this equation where lambda is thermal conductivity rho is the density of material and C v 
this specific heat capacity let us see what is the role of density in elevated temperature it is interesting that under normal temperature range density of steel is 7850 kg per cubic meter whereas it is inversely proportional to the thermal diffusivity let us talk about the next parameter which is specific heat which is indicated as cb specific heat of steel is recommended at different temperature range by euro code en 1994 12 values of specific heat are indicated in joules per kg degree Celsius. So, specific heat is given by the relationship as we are expressing this is true for theta a lying between the range 20 degree and 600 degree Celsius. For the range 600 degree and 735 degree Celsius C v is given by this equation and for the range 735 degrees and 900 degrees Celsius C V is given by this equation. and for the range 900 and 1200 degree Celsius C V is constant and the value is 650. However, for design purposes C V can be taken as average value of six hundred joules per kg degree Celsius. So, one can also look at the variation of specific heat with temperature. say this is temperature 
in degree Celsius and this is specific heat of steel which is C V in kilo joules per kg per degree Celsius. the value touches 700 and 1.2 starting from 0.5 and it is on linearly varying and then at this point it drips off to 0.6 and stays horizontal. So, this is figure showing me the variation of specific heat of steel with temperature. The next important property which affects the fire loading on steel is thermal conductivity thermal conductivity depends on strength of steel but this is less influenced by the strength. It is not very significant. However, Eurocode 1993 1 to recommends the following for the thermal conductivity for temperature range between 20 degree to 800 degree Celsius the thermal conductivity is given by 54 minus 33.3 into 10 power minus 3 eta A. For theta A greater than 800 degree Celsius, thermal conductivity is given as a constant value which is 27.3. For design purposes, an average constant value of thermal conductivity is considered which is equal to 45 watts per meter second. Let us try to look at the plot which shows the variation of thermal conductivity with temperature in degree Celsius and thermal conductivity of steel. in watts per meter second degree Celsius. Let us say 0, 10, 
20, 30, 40, 70 and temperature varies. up to 1200. It shows that the variation is nonlinear and then it becomes constant. So, this is variation of thermal conductivity with temperature. The next property is thermal diffusivity, which is indicated as A. Thermal diffusivity shows a linear relationship with temperature up to some degree Celsius. It is given by the following. relationship point eight seven minus point eight four into ten power minus three of theta A where A is thermal diffusivity and theta A is temperature question number 8. Let us try to look at the material property to assess performance of the material or performance of the structure. It is important to to note that properties of steel at elevated temperature is necessary and important to assess performance of structure under fire loads. because properties like yield strength, modulus of elasticity, are influenced by temperature range so if you look at any codal methods for 
design of structures under fire load, then yield strength and Young's modulus must be estimated at elevated temperatures. Alternatively, if one uses advanced method of design, then in that case, the stress strain curve variation at elevated temperature must be completely known for the design. In both the cases of design approach, variation of strength of steel at elevated temperatures with respect to different strain levels is very important. to compute. Add to this behavior of steel at elevated temperature can be handled in the design also using strength reduction factor. Then what is strength reduction factor? Strength reduction factor is actually the ratio of strength of steel at specific strain level to strength at ambient temperature yield stress. So, Mathematically, K y theta will be F y theta by F y, where F y theta is the yield strength of steel. A temperature theta, theta is the temperature index and F y is the yield strength at ambient temperature. Let us try to look at this variation graphically. We will try to plot the variation of strength reduction factor versus temperature. Let us say 0 to 0.1 point two
temperature variation is seen from 100 to 1000. So, let us try to plot this for different percentage strain levels. So, to 401, and it drops down to 0 0.1 at 1000. This is for let us say 2 percent strain. I will try to plot it for 0 0.5 percent strain. It shows a similar behavior. For understanding, let us plot one more curve with 1.5 percent strain which is close to this. So, now this figure shows variation of strength factor with respect to temperature at different strain levels. Looking at this curve, we can say that strength reduction factor is influenced by the strain level higher the value of strain lower the strength reduction factor that is higher the value of strain, higher the strain. Strength reduction factor is significant with respect to increase in temperature. So, strength reduction is significant at higher or let us say elevated temperatures So, therefore, in the design procedure, it is necessary to choose the strain level which is appropriate to the type of loading. and type of cross section. Let us take for example, the variation of let us try to plot 
the variation of f y theta by y that is strength reduction factor versus strain at various temperatures for S 355 steel, let us say point 0.1 and the strain values of 0 0.005. 0 0.010, 0 0.015 and 0 0.020. We will try to plot this for different temperature. Let us say for 100 degree the variation goes as close as shown in red mark then takes a kink and becomes horizontal. Let us say this is for 100 degree Celsius. For 200 degree Celsius, the reduction stays at point 8, starts from 0 and takes a bend and continues this. This is for 200 degree Celsius. Similarly, for 300 degree Celsius, it starts 0 0.65 and takes a curve, this is 300 degree Celsius and for 400 degree Celsius, it goes till 0 0.4, but the slope is different. and then becomes nonlinear and for 500 it stays at 0.4 but the value is reduced to 0.8 and then goes at stays at 0 0.5 and at 700 degree Celsius it stays at 0 0.2 and at 800 degree it stays at 0 0.1. So, this could be the variation of stress strain relationship or strength reduction factor in sense with temperature for S yes, 355 steel. So, for design purposes, basic strength values at 2 percent strain can be used. In addition, suitable modification factors are applied to account for the failure cases at lowest strain level. At elevated temperature,
there are two main consequences of steel. on steel property. One, it loses strength, two, it also loses its stiffness, which results in reduction in modulus of elasticity. So, let us now see the dependence of modulus of elasticity on temperature of steel on temperature. So, the draft version 1993 12 recommends the following relationship. for modulus of elasticity k e dependence theta is given by e theta by e where e theta is Young's modulus of steel at temperature theta and E is Young's modulus of steel at ambient temperature Therefore, certain reduction factors are applied to yield strength modulus of elasticity and proportionality limit at elevated temperatures. Let us graphically see how these variations are influenced at elevated temperature for steel. Let us try to plot the temperature dependence of these properties as a reduction factor which is temperature varies from 200 2200 yield strength does not get reduced till 400 and then there is a linear drop up to 0.2 then further drops to 2200. So, that is my yield strength. Elastic modulus stays 0.6. And it is no variation till 200, then it drops to 
then it further drops at 600. then it further drops at 700 which comes to 0 0.1 and then goes to 0. So, this is my modulus of elasticity variation for steel at higher temperatures. Proportionality limit has no change till 200 and drops to 0 0.4 at 400, further drops, then further becomes steep at 0 0.1 at 600, then goes to 0. So, this is my proportionality limit. So, this curve shows important mechanical properties of steel at elevated temperature in the form of reduction factor as recommended by Euro code. So, friends in this lecture we have understood several mechanical properties of steel at elevated temperature. We have also seen how strength reduction takes place with respect to different strain levels and elevated temperatures. We have also seen how yield strength modulus of elasticity and proportional limit varies with increase in temperature for steel. So, it is very important to understand to know mechanical properties of material at elevated temperature to fix the strain level at which the design should be attempted, which should be also compatible with rate of loading acting on the structure. Thank you.